Alright, welcome back to another Steam Controller tutorial series. Uh, this one I wanted to just go just go over right pad settings. This is a question that's come up a couple times. Figured it would make a good topic. So okay, let's go into configuration. See, right now we have joystick camera. So joystick camera is basically trying to... Let's see, does it say... Yeah, it's like, it's trying to be the way a controller would function, an analog controller would function in a third-person game. So it's, it's trying to mimic an analog stick. Let's see if you can see... I go to the edge, it's gonna keep going. Now, this... I suppose it's all going to come down to preference. I will tell you right away, I hate this setting. It does not feel... it's very slow. It just... it just doesn't feel responsive. But it's trying to mimic a stick. Yeah, if we push it... actually, I can show you that. We could make it... So there, you can see, like, it's... You know, it's trying to mimic an analog stick. Which, uh, that's the one thing that I feel like the Steam Controller isn't great at. It's that's why I always prefer the stick for movement. Instead, like, I could bind that stick. <laughs> I forgot I had that. That's the initiate ragdoll. Oh, dirt. Yeah, I could bind the stick over there. I I just always prefer. So okay. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Now you could, you know, we could make this an aggressive, let's, uh, so yeah, it just, it feels kind of slow to me. But that, it's trying to be like a third-person camera, an analog stick. So, let's just go over the controller-based systems. So, joystick move is just, it's going to give us a... Uh, less of a radius that we need to go on. So let's see, let's just go straight to that. You know, this will actually be a little bit more responsive because it's it was just giving, you know, it's like that. Like the range of the stick is pretty small compared to the size of the pad. So joystick move is letting you control. So it's, you know, it's giving you a little bit I, th I would almost rather use joystick move instead <laughs> instead of their joystick camera. Because you're going to get more response. But joystick move is also... Uh, I would use this for like a twin stick shooter. And then you can change... You know, you could change how much you need to twist. How, how much you need to move the stick. Okay, so then, whoops, what else we got? We got joystick move. Mouse joystick is the one. Just make sure, yeah, okay, we don't need those for this. Mouse joystick is the one that I would go with. Now we can read, you know, this long, boring description up here. The input feels like a mouse, but output's like a joystick. It's intended for games that don't allow mouse and gamepad. So this would be if you want to go full controller inputs. But note, since this mode is seen by the game as a joystick, the sensitivity is res it's limited to the game's result. So for the best results, you want to turn the in-game camera sensitivity really high. But there are some tweaks you can make to this, but I'll show you that in a second. You know, so this is going to make it feel a little bit more like a mouse pad. Which may... I don't... I guess it is going to be a preference thing. It may not look super responsive, but to me this feels much better. 
but I would obviously tweak it around. Like, one way you can tweak it in here is if you... Up. Let's, we'll take this up all the way just so you can see. You have to be careful with this, because if you take it up too much, it'll jitter. But it, it does make it more sensitive. So it, it's something to play around with. But I would usually, I would usually use mouse-like joystick in combination with uh, mouse-like joystick on on the uh, gyro. So I could look around. And I usually put these about at the X and Y. So I crank them up quite a bit. But like that said, you want to... Mainly you want to be adjusting the in-game controller sensitivity for that option. So okay, so for... A game that's using controller-based stuff, I would usually go with mouse-like joystick if it's a third-person game or a first-person game. I would usually go with joystick move, which is seems unintuitive, but I would go with joystick move for the camera, or like for the aim in like a twin-stick shooter. I have never found a use for joystick camera. <laughs> I don't... It, it just does not feel good to me. I don't like it. But anyways, the main obvious best choice is going to be a mouse. If the game allows you to use a mouse, you know, then you have more control over the sensitivity, the smoothing, the acceleration. Yeah, I mean, you can see pretty clear the difference. Like, now this is really, really smooth and very, very accurate. That's a mouse. This game allows me to have simultaneous gamepad and mouse input so I can have you know, slow movement, then analog control over the movement, and then a very accurate mouse. Oh! <laughs> so, alright, yeah, that's just a, a little overview of all the different options for camera control in a game. You basically have several choices when you're going with a controller-based thing, like for instance, in, in like, Skyrim or something. Skyrim or Fallout does not allow mouse and gamepad at the same time. So, for that game, I ended up going with the mouse-like joystick. Because that is outputting as a controller joystick, but feels closer to a mouse. But still, I mean, like I'm saying, nothing is comparing. If the game allows you... Go with the full mouse, because you're going to get way better control. So, all right, I think that's it. I just, yeah, just wanted to... A slightly different approach to the this tutorial series. I'm just picking some very specific little topics that people have asked questions about and trying to cover those. So this would cover, you know, the different choices we have for camera controls in games. So, all right, that's all I got. But yeah, if you guys... uh. If you have ideas for other things you think, or questions you want, want want me to cover, let me know. I'll, you know, put it to the list. I have a list of things I would like to try to cover. This game's so cool. So, all right, that's it. I will see you around. A lot of rambling, but I tried to stay on point. Don't think about nipples. Be professional. Hit the tires. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yes, you get the... <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit.